then no. Today we will learn how to say three things in Mongolian. Number one, we will learn how to greet. And number two, we will learn how to say our names in Mongolian. And third, um, the place where you're from. Where I, can, I come from there, I come from America, I come from Mongolia, etc. So let's start with our greetings. You probably caught me several times uh, before when I said Sam Beno in the beginning of the lesson and that means hello in Mongolian. So let's write it. Sam. So ah and healthy together the mixed sound is a eh, like hat, mad, etc. Sam. Ben. Ooh, another one. Eh, ben. Ooh. Sang ben. Ooh. Try and say it again. Sang ben. Ooh. More of an informal between friends and people that know each other. Um, of saying hello. Sano. Sano. In the answer to that, you just add sang in front, another sang in front, so it says sang, sang ben no. That's how you would answer to sang no. Again, add sang in front of it, so sang, sang no. Okay, so now let's learn how to say your name. Uh, in Mongolian, you say my name, mini nir, and then your name. So, mini, which means which means my, mini means my, oops, no, my, nir, which means name, and then your name. So this was what? Say mini, nir, what? And, um, you can put your name, try and practice. Mini, Mini, Nir. Finally, let's learn how to say where you're from. You say, B, and then blank, you know, wherever you're from, and then, As, uh, Irsen. So, let's do it with the example. Well, I say as, but it can be as, is, os, os. Any of those four suffixes, depending on what vowel is in the in the uh, the place that you're from, and uh, that suffix, the as, is, os, os means from. So let's do example here. So b, which means I. I Mongol, let's a Mongol loss. Mongol. Since we have all in the in this word in this uh, in the word Mongol, we add os, which means from from Irsung. Um, Irsung. Irsung means came. So B Mongolas Irsung. B Mongolas Irsung. If you were to say Amerik or okay, let's say Amerik. So B Amerik is you add as because of the A in this um Americas. It's a America is a foreign word, so it doesn't really follow the the masculine and feminine um, the vowel like I was talking about in Mongolian language. It doesn't follow that. But since we have ah in this 
word we say America as Kirsten. Like that. Okay. Uh, let's say Kanad. So since Kanad also has a in it, so we have say Kanad. Kanadas. A because of A here, Kanadas. Irsun. And these this all um su these suffixes can be as os os or is depending on um the word the 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 place where the, where are you from. Let's let's read B Mongolas Irsun B Americas Irsun B Canadas Irsun etc. Let's review B Mongolas Irsun which means came Irsun B uh, Americas Irsun Kanadas Kanadas Irsun And the suffixes can be either as, os, os, or is. Let's learn one more additional um, way of saying where are you from. Um, if you wanted to say, I came from America, I came from, uh, let's say, New York State or New York City, how would you say that? Um, so let's give one example here. I be America's person. Just like the last example that we had, be America's person, and then let's say California, be Cali, Cali, foreign, oops, <laughs> Cali, foreign, uh, much as much means state. This word means state. So, Mujas Irsun. Irsun. And then let's say uh, I come from New York City. B. Uh, I think New York is written like this. New York. New York Hotos. Okay. So hot this word hot means city and it's os because we have a in hot hotos is okay let's read it B Americas Irsun B California Mojas Irsun B New York New York Hotos Irsun Now we know how to say hello, hi in Mongolian and you know how to say your name and where you're from in Mongolian. Finally Bye-bye. Bye, Bye